Brother, you opinions. got it wrong. Say you were preposterously you and stupidly wrong. So, okay, all right. Can I Don't just finish a goddamn stupid. thought? do Ever on this show. No, not if you're okay. personally... Well, I you admitted it. I was wrong. I don't need you to call me stupid. Okay. Jenk Yoger and Alan Lightman took things to another level on Piers Morgan Uncensored when their debate turned into an intense shouting match. Lightman didn't hold back, accusing Yoger of blasphemy, and the tension exploded from there. This clash is one for the books. You won't want to miss it. Don't blame the voters. I think, look, we could get into this discussion, but one, I think you're blaming the voters. I think that's a terrible idea. Uh, and uh, look, I debated uh, Professor Lickman before. I told him his theories about the keys were absurd. I was right. He was wrong. I said he'd lose his keys. No, you were couldn't not find right, him before and the I was election. not wrong, and, and that's a cheap shot, and I won't stand for it. <laughs> well, who won, you, brother? You should not be who taking won? cheap who shots won? at me. Who you won? Want to make your you point, live make your in point. a total Don't make world of denial. I read your own followers' comments, and they all trashed you, every one of them, and supported me. So yeah, quiet right, with right. your personal Yeah, attacks. come find out again. Make whatever okay. point you want. Yeah, yeah. Don't well, make you it You don't know anything. Anything. You don't know you anything. You attacked me personally. You just, you're so deluded. Oh, right. I've okay. only been a professor just, for 51 I, years. On this program, I've never been able books. to finish a How thought. How many books have you published? Been an, no, because you're personally yeah. attacking me again. Say whatever you want, but I'm not okay, going to stand but for brother, personal you attacks. got it wrong. Say you whatever were you want. You were preposterously and stupidly wrong. So, okay, all right. Can I don't just finish a goddamn stupid. thought? Don't call me stupid. Ever on this show. No, not if you're okay. personally well, I admitted I was wrong. I don't need you to call me stupid. Okay. Can I just say, what it's great to see you Democrats yeah, all getting Who along so well. Who taught you manners? I, I, it's lovely <laughs> to see a post-election harmony as you all come together we're just, again. We're just hey, one Alan, right now. Shh. Hey, Alan, you deserve a tall glass of shut-up juice, so can you just shut up for a second? And let someone who knows what not they're doing. You're so right, Pierre. Okay. You're me. so right. So Make so any point right you now, want. So I will not sit here and stand so for personal attacks, for blasphemy against me. You don't need to do that. You don't blaspheme against you. What the hell are you? Like are you that? Jesus just Christ, you points. loser? Okay, can I, can, I, can I just give the correct answer for once? Honestly, this whole exchange was just a mess, but an entertaining one for sure. It's clear Jenk Yoger and Alan Lickman weren't there to hold hands and play nice. Things got heated fast, with Lightman blaming voters for falling for disinformation, which Yoger immediately shut down. He called Lechman out on his failed election predictions and even mocked his whole keys to the White House. Theory. From there, it just spiraled. Lickman accused Yoger of taking cheap shots, while Yoger doubled down calling him deluded and even throwing in that sarcastic shut up juice comment. Ouch. At one point, Lightman tried to make it about being disrespected, saying it was blasphemy against him, which only gave Yoger the perfect chance to clap back with, blasphemy against you. Who the hell are you? It was brutal, but you couldn't look away. This wasn't just a debate, it was a total ego battle. Both of them were throwing punches, and neither wanted to back down. It felt more like a reality TV argument than an intellectual discussion. But hey, it made for some wild watching. If you were looking for a reasoned debate, this wasn't it. But if you wanted drama, it definitely delivered. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. See you in the next video.